guys, welcome back to Tupogar Bust. I am super excited to take you through a really fun travel video today where I'm gonna share how you can pack 10 outfits for 10 days and just this one little carry-on. As you guys might know from some earlier videos I've done, I am a big carry-on only traveler. If you haven't done it before, trust me, it's gonna change your life. It makes traveling so much easier. You never run the risk of losing your luggage. You always have some great outfits on hand because you have to plan them out in advance. So I'm coming at you first with five easy packing tips for carry-on travel. I am then going to share all of my kind of essentials that I always have to pack and for fun, I'm gonna take you through every single one of my 10 outfits. So the first tip is to kind of get clear on a color palette. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that before every trip, I'm always kind of determining a few base colors, maybe one or two prints, um, some kind of texture I'm gonna throw in there. For this kind of look, especially because I have to think in more layers, I'm doing a nice kind of palette of neutrals, so very basic, kind of nice warm tones with some grays in there as well, and basic black and denim. My second tip, and this one has been a life changer for me, is to roll absolutely everything that you can, obviously, excluding shoes and that kind of thing, but roll all your clothes. This not only makes it way easier to pack and kind of takes out all the air that's in your clothes, it also means you have way less wrinkles when you get to your destination and you can just unroll it, hang it up right away, and usually that actually gets rid of most wrinkles in your clothes. My third tip is to put your heaviest pieces at the bottom of your suitcase. Um, this pretty much always means shoes for me or toiletries. Sometimes I'll pack some kind of non-liquid toiletries in my bag as well. So make sure you put those at the bottom. It will make it a lot easier and it'll keep your clothes from getting all messed up or from it kind of crumbling a more delicate piece. My fourth tip, and this one is critical, you would think this takes a long time, but it really doesn't. Take 10 minutes and just map out how your looks gonna work with one another. This is actually a tip I learned from my mom, so shout out to mom. She is also a big carry-on only um, traveler. She is also very chic. She always wants to look her best when she's traveling. So take some time to kind of play around with it, put it up on hangers, take a couple pictures, and figure out how your clothes are gonna flow together. My fifth tip is to use your bag to push down all of your clothes. So pack a couple kind of lighter bags that you can use every single day. And then once you have everything packed, put the bags on top, push down everything so you get even more air out, and then clip the bags together. One more bonus tip is if you're gonna pack a hat, make sure that you pack it full of socks or some smaller tank tops or even a belt or anything else that's gonna keep the shape. And then put it in your luggage so that the brim is flush with your luggage and then put things around it to keep it in place. Okay, so those are my five packing tips. Moving on to the essentials. I absolutely always need to have my travel wrap on me. It is a non-negotiable. It doesn't matter if I'm going somewhere warm, I need to have it because I wear it up in the air and it is so key um, for kind of my airport and up in the air look. The second thing I always need is a ton of reading material. I do pack my Kobo, but I really love having a magazine with me because there's something kind of comforting about having it when you're up in the air and getting to flip through it. The third thing I like to pack is a good pair of headphones. I usually actually pack a couple different ones. So I have some over the ear ones that are noise canceling for up in the air. And then I have some kind of more discreet ones that I can wear when I'm commuting or doing whatever else when I'm actually at my destination. And the fourth thing I pack is obviously my passport in a cute passport case, along with my RBC Avion card. So the RBC Avion card has been something I've had for the past six years. It is absolutely amazing. I got Matt on board too, so he also has one. Not only do we use it for all of our everyday purchases, but when you book travel purchases through the car, whether it's booking um, a flight, whether it's booking a hotel, a rental car, um, you get even more points. So because we travel so much and because we're kind of constantly trying to find ways to be strategic with the amount of travel we do, this is amazing because we can literally rack up more and more and more points and put it back into something we already obviously prioritize from a budget perspective. So what I love about it too is that they're really, really customer focused. There are no blackout dates on the flights. So if you want to use your points towards a flight, there are no blackout dates. There are no airline affiliations. You can book any airline any time of the year. I also love that there's added perks if you get great insurance on a rental car. I am now a long-term Avioner and I can really tell you that it has been so key to me for having a really kind of seamless travel experience, for feeling protected when I'm making my travel purchases. And also, obviously, I want to do some shopping while I'm there, and it's great to know that on every single purchase I'm making, travel or not, I'm making points. 
but because I'm doing so many travel purchases as well, I'm making even more points and able to put that all towards another great trip in the future. And speaking of which, we are planning a really big one using all of our points in 2019. So I'm super excited for that. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely tell me below because we're really looking forward to booking an absolutely epic trip. And now I present to you all 10 of my travel looks. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly take you guys through what I packed. I packed two dresses, two jackets, one suede, one black leather. A few tops, I have one white and one black t-shirt. I have two pairs of jeans, one blue denim and one black. One pair of kind of dressier pants, so this is a nice pair of beige culottes I love. Two cashmere pullovers, one gray and one kind of fawn. Three pairs of shoes, one pair of beige flats, one pair of white Converse sneakers, and one pair of brown leather brogues. I packed one hat. I packed two bags, one black, one beige, both the same style, both the same size. And I packed one oversized cashmere cardigan that doubles as a light jacket. I also packed two leather belts, one brown, one black. I packed two scarves, one kind of oversized travel wrap, one smaller bandana style. And I packed a larger brown leather bag that I wear on the airplane. Make sure you guys check out RBC Avion. It has made such a difference for Matt and I as far as kind of maximizing all of our travels. Um, if you're a kind of freaking flyer as well or someone who really is passionate about travel currently or wants to be in the future, this would be a huge game changer for you guys. So make sure you check it out. I'll have a link below. And make sure that you take at RBC Avion and hashtag Avion so you can share all of your travel adventures on Instagram. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe so you can keep seeing more of these videos and make sure that you let me know where you're off to next and hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.